Hello everybody. We are very excited to introduce the first Mech Hackathon. This is a very special challenge focusing on using Mech technology for automotive infotainment services. This video clip is to give a little more colour to the Mech Hackathon competition. In order to do that, I will show you a simple live demo. This will demonstrate that using Mech technology is easy and effective. Whilst watching this video clip, don't forget to think about how your past ARVR projects could be used and adapted for the competition. Also consider any in-car infotainment software you may already have. So what is MEC? Multi-access edge computing offers application developers and content providers cloud computing capabilities and an IT service environment at the edge of the network. Yes, but for application developers, what does it mean? Very simply, MEC offers an application enablement framework at the network edge exposed via RESTful APIs. This allows your application instances to be run within the edge cloud. In addition, MEC offers a number of RESTful service APIs such as location and radio network information service, and these can be utilized by application instances to offer new and innovative services. So, to demo how to make use of these APIs, I've prepared a local edge cloud environment on a standard laptop where you'll see an HTML based client instance interacting with a local server stub. So I'll show you how to set up the server stub and expose the APIs and then how to query for information from these APIs via Mac application. So the first port of call is Etsy's Forge website where all the Mac API descriptions are provided using the open API specification. So next choose the API of interest so the location API in this instance. Scroll down and select edit the API online. This brings up the Swagger editor, which allows the server stub to be generated. We click here. In this instance, I'm selecting Node.js. By clicking on the link, it downloads the server. We can then run the server locally and I've started it already. And we simply type npm start in the directory of interest. And then this installs the server. And then once it's run, that'll be available on the local, on your local host, i.e. your machine. And now we have a server stub running. So for the client, I'm gonna use an HTML web page using JavaScript to make location API queries. So first I've installed, um, the Swagger JS JavaScript library, which allows us to connect to Swagger enabled APIs via the browser. And then this functionality can be used in an HTML file by including the script to interact with the server stub, for instance, to query for a location. And here's our server and here's a query. And then from your favorite browser, you can load the HTML page and invoke the query. So here I can see I've generated a map. We've got the base station location already. And then there's a click button for the mobile's location. So I click and it gives us the latitude and longitude and also plots that on a map. So this highlights how simple it is to set up a Mech app. So before wrapping up, I wanted to highlight again that your existing AR VR projects could be reused, but simply applied to this new in-car environment and supported by Mac. Still confused? Want more information on what I did? So your first port of call is a dedicated Mac Hackathon website. And once you've entered the competition, you will receive all the necessary instructions to run your application at the edge. So please don't hesitate in entering your team. We can't wait to receive your submission for this first Mac Hackathon and hosting the competitors.